A Modern History Welcome to the Rise of Fascism, A Modern History. In this three-part video series, we will explore the origins, development and consequences of one of the most significant political movements of the 20th century, fascism. In this first segment, we will delve into the seeds of fascism and the socio-political climate that paved the way for its rise. The early 20th century was a time of great upheaval and uncertainty. The aftermath of World War, I left many nations grappling with economic instability, political unrest and a deep sense of disillusionment. It was in this volatile environment that fascism began to take root. The Treaty of Versailles, signed in 1919, imposed harsh reparations on Germany, crippling its economy and fueling resentment among its people. This fertile ground provided an opportunity for charismatic leaders to exploit the grievances of the masses. Two figures, Benito Mussolini in Italy and Adolf Hitler in Germany, would become synonymous with the rise of fascism. Both leaders capitalized on the discontent and frustration of their respective nations, promising stability, national pride, and a return to greatness. Mussolini's National Fascist Party and Hitler's National Socialist German Workers' Party, or the Nazi Party, gained popularity by appealing to the nationalistic sentiments of their citizens. They blamed minority groups, such as Jews and Communists, for the nation's problems, fostering a sense of unity through scapegoating. As the economic conditions worsened, fascist parties gained traction, exploiting the fears and insecurities of the people. They promised to restore law and order, revive the economy, and protect national identity. Propaganda played a crucial role in shaping public opinion. Fascist regimes utilized powerful imagery, slogans, and mass rallies to create a sense of belonging and loyalty among their followers. They skillfully manipulated the media to control the narrative and suppress dissent. The rise of fascism was not limited to Italy and Germany. It spread across Europe, finding support in countries like Spain, Hungary, and Romania. The appeal of fascism resonated with those who felt marginalized, disillusioned, and fearful of the uncertain future. However, it is important to note that fascism did not emerge in a vacuum. It was a response to the complex interplay of historical, economic, and social factors. The rise of fascism serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of political extremism and the consequences of unchecked power. In the next segment of The Rise of Fascism, A Modern History, we will explore how fascist regimes consolidated their power and the impact they had on their respective nations and the world. A Modern History, welcome back to The Rise of Fascism, A Modern History. In this second segment, we will explore how fascist regimes consolidated their power and the impact they had on their respective nations and the world. After gaining popular support, fascist leaders sought to establish authoritarian regimes that would allow them to exercise complete control over their nations. They dismantled democratic institutions, suppressed opposition, and established a cult of personality around themselves. Mussolini and Hitler both assumed dictatorial powers using violence and intimidation to silence dissent. They created secret police forces such as the Gestapo and the Ovra to monitor and suppress opposition. Fascist regimes also utilized propaganda to maintain their grip on power. They controlled the media, shaping public opinion and suppressing any dissenting voices. They used mass rallies, parades and other spectacles to create a sense of unity and loyalty among their followers. In Italy, Mussolini's regime established the Fascist Grand Council, which acted as a rubber stamp for his decisions. In Germany, Hitler consolidated his power by eliminating his rivals, such as Ernst Rahm and the Say, in the Night of the Long Knives. Fascist regimes also implemented policies that aimed to create a homogeneous society. They persecuted minority groups, such as Jews, homosexuals and communists, whom they viewed as threats to the nation's purity. The persecution of Jews culminated in the Holocaust, which claimed the lives of six million Jews and other minorities. The horrors of the Holocaust remain a stark reminder 
of the dangers of fascism and the importance of standing up against hatred and bigotry. The impact of fascist regimes extended beyond their borders. They pursued aggressive foreign policies, seeking to expand their territories and assert their dominance. Mussolini's invasion of Ethiopia and Hitler's annexation of Austria and Czechoslovakia were clear violations of international law. The rise of fascism had a profound impact on the world, leading to the deaths of millions of people and the destruction of entire nations. It serves as a cautionary tale of the dangers of political extremism and the importance of safeguarding democratic institutions. In the next segment of The Rise of Fascism, A Modern History, we will explore the downfall of fascist regimes and the legacy they left behind. A Modern History, welcome to the final segment of The Rise of Fascism, A Modern History. In this segment, we will explore the downfall of fascist regimes and the lasting legacy they left behind. As World War II unfolded, the destructive nature of fascism became increasingly evident. The alliance between fascist powers, such as Italy and Germany, crumbled under the weight of their own ambitions and the resistance of the Allied forces. Mussolini's regime fell in 1943 when he was overthrown and arrested by his own people. Hitler's Nazi regime faced a similar fate as Allied forces closed in on Germany, leading to his suicide in a Berlin bunker in 1945. The defeat of fascist regimes marked the end of an era characterized by violence, oppression and hatred. The world was left to grapple with the immense human cost of fascism and the need to rebuild shattered societies. The legacy of fascism, however, continued to haunt the world. The Nuremberg trials held accountable those responsible for war crimes and crimes against humanity committed during the Holocaust. The trials set a precedent for international justice and the prosecution of individuals who perpetrate mass atrocity. The lessons learned from the rise and fall of fascism shaped the post-war world. The United Nations was established to promote peace, human rights and international cooperation with the aim of preventing the re-emergence of ideologies that threaten global stability. The horrors of fascism also led to a renewed commitment to human rights and the recognition of the inherent dignity and worth of every individual. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights, adopted by the United Nations in 1948, stands as a testament to the collective determination to prevent the recurrence of fascist atrocity. The legacy of fascism serves as a constant reminder of the dangers of extremism, intolerance and the erosion of democratic value. It compels us to remain vigilant and actively safeguard the principles of freedom, equality and justice. As we reflect on the rise and fall of fascism, let us remember the millions of lives lost and the immense suffering endured. Let us honour their memory by working towards a world where diversity is celebrated, Human rights are protected and the lessons of history are never forgotten. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the rise of fascism, a modern history. May it serve as a reminder of the importance of unity, compassion and the pursuit of a better future for all.